Number four, in a cold climate, which of the following plan shapes make the most sense for a house design, presuming that all have the same square footage? So one possibility is a long, thin house that's on a, looks like a specific angle. Another possibility is a more squarish house with a courtyard. Another is an actual square structure and plan. And the last one is uh, my version of the Villa Rotunda. <laughs> Uh, Villa Rotunda is probably a pretty good answer, but yeah, we're not going to answer that one. So that's not, that's not it. That's more there for fun. So it really is just between these three. And each of these three are reasonable answers for a climate, but only one is the reasonable answer for a cold climate. So the question becomes, well, what are, are the issues of a cold climate? Uh, and the uh, biggest issue is it's cold and you don't want to lose heat. Uh, out of your walls. So you want the most efficient of uh, the uh, building plans so I have the least amount of heat loss per uh, square foot of building. Uh, the one here is for temperate. Uh, so that is a very close and reasonable answer. It's actually not a bad one for a cold climate. Uh, it gets you, the angle gets you all the benefits of uh, allowing to, to get as much of the, the late summer sun and, and to really uh, get some benefits out of that, but it's still mostly oriented to the south. You're reducing the east and the west so that uh, in the uh, uh, hot summer months, uh, that temperate climate, uh, you're not getting a lot of that late, uh, late uh, solar gain at the end of the day and that early one. So this is, uh, A is perfect for a temperate climate, like say for example, Chicago, or uh, these ones that get both hot and cold. Uh, the courtyard is perfect for a hot, arid climate. Um, it's also pretty good for a hot, humid climate. Uh, the reason that the uh, humid climate works really well is I can have windows here and windows there, and I can get uh, air to just sort of find its way and blow right through. And it's a good way to create a, a passive uh, way of, of creating a sort of not air conditioning, but that the air is constantly moving. You're reducing the, the moisture level. You're allowing the air to blow right through. Uh, similar things with the hot arid. I get some shade, outdoor space that's shaded. I, uh, I allows for a couple of other options. Um, but that's not a great one for a cold climate even though there's something kind of nice about having a protected space in a cold climate. So there may be reasons to do it, uh, but I'm also, what I've essentially done is I've just increased my exterior wall space by, you know, 20% or something. And so I am therefore losing 20% more heat out through that exterior wall. So the answer is C. It's going to be the most straightforward and efficient. A better answer would actually be a circle. Uh, because it would be even more efficient uh, in terms of wall area to floor plan.